everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a really quick and easy tutorial on this look that I've got on now. It's one of my go-to looks because it's pretty quick and easy, but it's also got like sparkliness on the lid and I freaking love sparkliness. Like, it's so good. I'm only using shadows from the Lorac Pro palette today. If you're in Australia and you want to get one of these, they sell them on Amazon and they sell it for pretty much the same price as the US and shipping's not that expensive. I'm going to leave a link to the store below. It's like the legit Lorac store. If you've been umming and ahhing for a while, then definitely get one. But if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. I'm starting with eyes today because some of the eyeshadows are like glittery and they have fallout and whatever. I don't want glitter all over my face. So I'm using MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, just like chucking that on there. These nails, seriously, sometimes I cannot get like in the inner corner of my eye. Such a fail. Alright, once that's slapped on there, I'm going to take my Lorac Pro palette and the colour taupe, this little brown one here, and just shove him in the crease. Once that's all in there, I'm going to take my Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Inked in Pink and put that like on my eyelid. Um, I have to like claw it out with my finger so there's all these little like dents in it. It's really gross. I like to use my fingers for these because they kind of suck with a brush. I don't know. Once that's on I'm going to go back to my Lorac palette and take Sable which is this brown that's a little bit darker on like a flush, flushy, fluffy, on a fluffy brush and just chuck that on the outer corner. Kind of like, I don't know, like the outer third I guess of the eye. Everyone says that, don't they? And just like pack it on there and then blend it out a little. I'm going to take that first brush and just blend. Kind of like blending that colour tattoo and that brown colour that we just put on at the same time. And I'm just going to go back in and add a little bit more sable to deepen it up. And then I'm going to blend her out again. For the pretty sparkliness, I'm going to take champagne on this teeny tiny little brush and just pack that all over where the colour tattoo is left. So pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, cream is the only colour that I have ever hit pan on. I'm both really excited and devastated at the same time. Once your sparkles are on, go back and blend again. Then to deepen up the outer corner even more, I'm going to take Espresso. This one looks crazy dark on me because I'm so pale. Um, but if you are darker, you might want to use this one instead of the sable and then use the black. I don't know. I'm just going to chuck that like on the outer V. And then I'm going to blend again. Sorry, I'm going to blend. Next I'm going to chuck on some winged liner. Sorry if I fail at it. I'm just not that good at filming my winged liner. I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise as always. If I go off the screen slash out of focus or whatever, I will link uh, my video for how to do perfect wing liner every time um, below. Okay, so now eyeliner's done, I'll move on to lashes. I'm not going to put on false ones. I never seem to in these videos. Um, but I am going to curl them and put on a crap sticks load of mascara. For mascara, I'm using the Clinique High Lengths um, as always. This one's getting old and disgusting, but what are you going to do? I can't afford to buy a new one. If you have any good drugstore mascara recommendations, then please leave them below because it looks like that's what I'm going to have to get next. Which never saves my life, but also whatever, like just try new things, it's not that bad. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do my foundation and stuff, and by the power of editing, it will be done. 
So now the rest of my face is done, I'm going to finish off the eyes. I'm just going to take Sable again on this little Real Techniques brush and chuck it underneath my eye. I'm going to use white for my inner corner and brow bone highlight. I really like matte highlights on my eyes. I don't know why. I just think they're pretty. And then I'm just going to really quickly blend that in with the rest of the crap that's on here. I think I might actually add some black to the waterline today, which I never do. If you want to keep this look really, really daytime, then chuck in some nude colour or some white. But I just got this Maybelline Master Liner Soft Coal. I don't know. I just got this Maybelline liner and I want to try it. So why not? Seems like it's going to come out nicely so I'm going to tight line and put it on my waterline at least I'm going to attempt to I find tight lining so much easier when you have fake lashes on and I can't do that thing where people just put it in their eye like ugh so if you can't watch people touch their eyes don't look at this next bit hmm. it's not actually coming out alright this is crap it's a, I'm sure it's not a crap liner, but it's just not working on my waterline. I'm just going to use my Rimmel. And then lastly, I'm just going to chuck on my mascara on the bottom. To finish off the look, I'm just going to add a real quick little bit of lippy. And I think I'm going to use this Revlon Balm Stain in Smitten. I really like this colour. It's like a plum, like, colour. <laughs> that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!